What up YouTube, Topaz Jakes back for another mixtape review and this one is to that Maybach music group, The Priorities 4 and it's really not surprising at all that we've heard every fucking song that's on this bitch because The Priority series, it's all always been just one core place where you can go to listen to all of the music that Maybach Music has dropped over a certain amount of time. Been like that since Priorities 1 and such, man, so why would it change now? But yet these motherfuckers fucking got me, though. Because when I started reading articles about it, like, oh, Priorities 4 is going to be executively produced by Wale. Like, maybe it's a authentic fucking mixtape. Maybe it's going to have some new shit. That kind of tricked me into fucking listening to it like, oh, he just selected a fucking playlist. Pretty much all he did is what all of these so-called mixtape DJs do and such, where they ain't even scratching or nothing, they just selecting songs and throwing them bitches together. Now here's the thing about this album, if you haven't been following Maybach music, this is definitely for you because it's something to help people catch the fuck up on what they have missed and everything. But if you have, like I have, like I listen to music every fucking day and I've listened to all of these songs and I may not have reviewed them all, but I heard them all out the fucking gate, man. So if you're anything like me, don't waste your time on it, please, because you're going to come off being fucking mad that there's nothing new about this motherfucker. But this concludes today's review, man. And now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Sample Kid before we take some of your questions. So Doom says that he feels as though Rich deserves the same kind of buzz that g Easy gets and such. And you know what? I am in agreement. I feel as though Rich one of the better rappers in the game and shit right now, you did. But the problem is, that has nothing to do with your buzz. Like, your buzz is based off the work that you put in, your fan base, your audience, how they're demanding you and such, man. It has nothing to do with how skillful you are. And this is like the perfect fucking example of that. And Yoshi asks, will I review that Daredevil Season 2 and that Batman vs. Superman movie that's coming out, man? And you know what? I'm very fucking tempted. Like, I've already watched that Daredevil, man. I'm trying to watch that joint one more motherfucking time, too. But... I'm not sure. I very well may, but I'm not making any promises right now. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.